Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chilvan, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangodu. Today we discuss about the subject cost accounting in the topic of process costing. Here the meaning, it is the form of operation costing which is used to ascertain the cost of the produce at each process or stage of manufacturing where processes are carried out one or more of the following features. Production is done having a continuous flow of intensial product, clearly defined process cost center and the accumulation of all cost by the cost center. To maintain an accurate record of the unit and part units produced and cost incurred by each process. Then the finished product of one process become the raw material of next process. Then next we discuss about some advantages. It is simple and less expensive to find out the process cost. Then it is possible to have managerial control by evaluating the performance. Then it is easy to allocate the expenses to process in order to have a accurate cost. Then next we discuss about disadvantages. We have discussed only two or three points. The first points are cost obtained at the end of accounting period or only of historical value and are not very useful for effective control. Then next we discuss about working progress is required to be ascertained at the end of the accounting period for calculating the cost of continuous process. The valuation of work in progress is generally done on estimated basic which is total cost. Then we discuss about format of product process cost process accounts. Here the debit side and the credit side are two sides are ledger is given. The one is for two material two direct material then do direct wages, to direct expenses, to overheads. Then the same opposite side we discuss about by normal loss, then abnormal loss, then the abnormal gain is there, it will be comes under the debit side. Suppose abnormal loss is there, the value will be comes under credit side. Then the process will be transferred to output to next stages. Already we have to finish the process 1 account. Then the same process will be go for some process 2 accounts. Then next we discuss about abnormal loss and abnormal gain. First of all we know about abnormal loss which arises when actual loss is greater than expected loss. It is given a cost. Then abnormal gain arises when actual loss is less than the expected loss. It is given a negative cost. Then abnormal loss and gain are valued at the same cost per unit as good, goods unit. Then abnormal loss and gain are taken to the income statement for the period. Then again I want to repeat the some more important points the same topic abnormal loss and gain. The abnormal loss arises when the actual loss is greater than the expected loss. Abnormal gain means when the actual loss is less than the expected loss. Then we have to some more key points to be remembered. Their normal loss means accounting treatment losses within the expected level not ascertained cost, no entry in the accounting entries. Then abnormal loss, excess loss over the expected level, assigned cost, but debit side abnormal loss, credit side process account. Then abnormal gain, gain resulted when the actual loss is less than the normal or expected loss. Debit side the process account and again credit side the abnormal gain. These are the points very very important one we have to remember whenever we have to put the sums in our note or exam time the points will be helpful to the students. Then next if there so I will show the some ledgers. The ledger is for one is for normal loss account then abnormal gain account then abnormal loss account. The normal account in the sense the process account in debit side then the abnormal by bank account by abnormal gain account in credit side. Then abnormal gain account the debit side for the normal loss to costing p and l account then credit side for by process account then abnormal loss account to process account by 
bank account by costing PNL accounts. These are the things are very very important one whenever we put the sums in the note on the exam time. Thank you for watching this video.